Hi, this is Norm from MyBeerQuest.com, and we are on another beer expedition here. This next one is a very special beer, uh, because it comes from uh, Northern California, from a place I've actually been to be before. It's brewed by Sierra Nevada, and I, I believe in their facility, I'm not really sure, but in collaboration with the Abbey of the New Clairvaux. <laughs> if you don't know about the Abbey of the New Clairvaux, it's, it's an abbey in... Um, it's a monastery, I think, in uh, Vena, California. I've actually been there before. This is why this is kind of cool. Uh, about five or six years ago, or maybe four or five years ago, uh, I was visiting my brother-in-law up in Northern California. He, has, he uh, and his wife has a, a ranch up there, and they raise miniature donkeys. <laughs> right, uh, and it's not too far from this monastery. And, uh, this, and it's also not too far from Chico, uh, which is where Sierra Nevada Brewery is. And so every time we go up to visit them, we go to the brewery. But at the time we went to the monastery, they were making wine. And uh, we'll use some magic here to show you a picture of me uh, drinking wine with monks. And it's a really great, wonderful wine. And it's made by monks, so, so it's kind of a traditional wine. And this one, it's, which is called Ovila, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, although I've heard the guy at the store call it Oliver. <laughs> but this one is actually traditionally made traditionally by monks, so that's kind of cool. The abbey itself, it was, um, it, uh, William Randolph Hearst went over to, I don't know if it was Belgium or France, but somewhere over in Europe, and had an abbey deconstructed, and it was going to rebuild it here on his property. And I, I guess something happened in between, but they got they had it deconstructed and shipped over here, and, it, and I guess it sat in Oakland or in the harbor somewhere for years and years and years until these monks found it and started buying piece by piece, and they're reconstructing it um, on their on their property. So it's a really wonderful, uh, uh, neat place because this abbey is like hundreds of years old that they're actually rebuilding, and uh, if you. Uh, if you ever go there, they're probably a lot farther along than when I went to see that. Uh, I, like I said, it was four or five years ago, but we'll put some pictures up here of uh, of what it looked like when I went to see it, and uh, they actually have a picture of it on the on the uh, the label here. So this is actually a, a real Abbey Ale. So that's kind of cool, and that's kind of why I want to really try this. Okay, this one has a cork, of course. Uh, it's a uh, more of a traditional Abbey Ales do. So I got the um, wire off there. Got to be careful here. Oh, look at that smoke. That's kind of a cool effect. All right, so I chose this glass because um, I was trying to think of you know what a you know a 16th century monk would be drinking a Abbey ale out of. Uh, I thought maybe a chalice, um, kind of like this. Also, it has a wide uh, rim. I, I kind of like the Abbey Ales uh, with a wide rim. You know, some people like the tulip glasses because it gives you uh, different aromas and different... Uh, it, it, there, there is a difference. Uh, I, I just thought it looked cool, too. <laughs> All right, well, not much head on there, which is kind of, kind of cool. Mm, smells really good. I really like the color of it too. I was expecting something a little bit more uh, blonde, but this is kind of a, a brownish color. I really like that. It really looks good. Wow, that's a that's a nice uh, nice ale. It's a refreshing, nice one. I I think um, I'm gonna really enjoy this one today. Mm. This is a really wonderful, like, malty but smooth uh, beer. This is, uh, I don't think, like anything I've had from Sierra, Sierra Nevada before. It has a, a really wonderful, complex uh, mixture of the Belgian spices. So it does definitely have that Belgium flavor to it, but it's a very well balanced as well. Sometimes, I, you know, sometimes one spice is overpowering another, and I really don't enjoy that, but this one I'm really enjoying. Mm. Um, 7.5% alcohol per volume. So 
you know, it's it's not really high, but it's not really low either. So it's really nice. I think it'd be uh, nice to really kick back at you know at that monastery on a tree stump or something like that, and just uh, meditate and drink this beer. This would be really nice. So if you can find it in your area, it is over ten dollars a bottle, which I don't normally pay that much. But I think I this one I, I didn't mind paying that much for. Um, so if you can find it, give it a try. And if you uh, like my videos, please subscribe. It's uh, right up top there. And if, uh, if you want to leave a comment about the video, um, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, always uh, welcome comments. And I try to get to, to answer most of those. So thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by. Until next time, cheers. Enjoy your beer.